What's the best date you've ever been on? Have you ever been ghosted? Are you the kind of person to get jealous in relationships? Yes. Hi, today I'm in a very bring it on mood because the questions that are there in today's Q&A. So basically this is all about dating as I've been in a relationship for almost 5 years now. Exact time to mujhe bhi nahi pata because there wasn't like a proposal proposal. I have been getting a lot of uh, relationship related questions. So aaj wale questions bahut hi personal hai and I feel like they're going to help us connect on another level and I am ready to open up. So let's just begin. The first question that we have is what kind of a person are you when you are dating someone i am that person who loves expressing love um i'll get chocolates i'll get random meaningful gifts every now and then which don't need to be expensive but need to be uh, emotionally like need to emotionally have a value i'll write you letters i'll write cards i'll randomly hug you from behind every one hour so i am a very mushy person like that when i'm in a relationship the next question is what are your pet peeves one thing about kumar that annoys you it sometimes annoys me when he does not tell me what is wrong usually as a uh, in a relationship it's tag that a girl doesn't share the feelings i disagree uh, i personally share whenever i'm upset and i cry it out also so mere problems jaldi solve ho jate hain but kumar if he's upset he will not tell me for a long time wo sirf muh so ja ke baith jayega and how am i supposed to know what happened so first it takes me a long time to unwind and ask him acha what happened and then once i find out it takes me even longer to break through that wall and reach him that listen i didn't mean it whatever hurt him so that one thing annoys me and my pet peeves my pet peeve is i know i have a time management problem but if you have come late then you cannot get mad at me for also getting late basically uh, for example if we are going out and if uh, kumar has come like 30 minutes late due to work or whatever reason and then if i come for the 5 minutes late and then if he's going to be mad about it i can't stand it i will then fight for 30 more minutes ke liye it is galat hai you can't do this to me but that is one of my pet peeve next question is something i can totally understand why it has come because i have been in a situation like this before i tell you um the question is i feel like i'm ready to date but just can't seem to connect with someone please help basically at the age degree college is when i've seen most of my uh, close friends have the time of their life go to people's hostels and pgs and have fun and at that time i had already started working from office like from here i just felt very out of place ki you know how do i make new friends how do i meet new people just like the person who asked this question ki where do i meet people to date even if i'm ready to date so personally for dating i have a lot of women friends of mine who have found good people to connect with on bumble whenever you're on a platform especially talking about me personally i need to feel very safe and secure i don't want any random images any random just messages or from like a fake profile that is also not fun right so bumble is something that they found super safe to use and all inclusive all gender inclusive respecting everybody and that is something that's really good about it another really nice feature is that it's a women first app like you get to lead you get to make the first move which is so against our normal thing love that about it and if you have had any great experiences on bumble then all my girls comment down below and let me know your story if you found someone great through there because i have some of my friends who found some pretty sure ki hamare family mein bhi koi na koi to hoga jinka bahut acha experience raha hoga so let's have some really nice stories in the comments down below okay so the next question is if you had to write an honest bio in your current state of mind what would that be oh my god ye bahut deep hai very very driven i probably would not write about how emotional i am because that is something jo mujhe starting se kisi ko batana nahi pasand i want them to discover that about me slowly so i'd write super driven family oriented and loves adventure i freaking love adventure my ideal date idea would be to go to uh, an adventure park or a water park or like a theme park So these three things would be in my bio. Can you share three quick pre-date tips that you used to curb down the pre-date anticipation? Firstly, make sure that my appearance is very hygienic because if in the middle of the date I feel like oh my god my mouth smells or I don't smell good like the sweat odor is coming through that makes me very uncomfortable and very nervous. 
and I forget about the conversation. I keep focusing on ki what if I'm looking awkward. So one is hygiene needs to be on point. Brush your teeth well before going also. Second thing that I like to follow is to make sure that I'm really comfortable in my outfit because it has happened with me before ki after entering the location, I feel super out of place. Uh, Kumara and I had been to a very, very bougie place on New Year's one day uh, and Everybody around was just staring at both of us, but mostly me because I was more underdressed. So, I'm like, how do I on date? Pe? So, again, so I need to be comfortable in my outfit, but dressed to the occasion, not super underdressed and not super overdressed. Third tip would be to actually keep my phone aside and just like focus on the conversation happening. Because if some thought is going on in my mind, that the client has a project, or oh, why has this person not reverted yet? How's it going on? Then even after the experience is over, there's not much that I take back from it. Like and there's not much I remember that I took away. So these three things, hygiene, comfortable but a good outfit as per the location and being in the moment. Like mentally prepare yourself ki okay, kaam ka time khatam hua, I want to be with this person. That's what I'd share you should do on a date. Have you ever been ghosted? Why? If yes, how did you deal with it? Ghosted? in a very silly manner so uh, my boyfriend's name is Kumar uh, for all our new family members and he is the one who I've been in, in a relationship with but when we are supposed to go out this is in reference to all our Saturday night plans because he's so relaxed about Sunday being a Sunday that he tends to fall asleep much more quicker on a Saturday night compared to any other day he falls asleep that's why I've ever been ghosted sometimes and what I do is I just go to his place and I wake him up that listen this is not done you we need to go right now so that's all it's never been a serious incident like that are you the kind of person to get jealous in relationships yes I am and that's more because of how Kumar is he does not understand when someone hits on him and for the longest time when our families sort of did not know and if I encounter something I just feel so frustrated ki main kaise samjhao but the good thing is that now that all of us are on the same page I get a lot of help from his sister and auntie where we just tell him ki listen I have no problem with him having women friends but if someone's hitting on him and he doesn't understand that then all three of us sit him down ki ye sahi nahi hai you have to learn to say Say no and how to tackle situations like this if people are coming and coming too close in not a nice manner if he doesn't understand that and if some girl is still hitting on him then I do get jealous can you believe someone had once actually told him just because you're in a relationship right now doesn't mean I don't have a chance with you so I get jealous when I say something like that What's the best date you've ever been on? This is so difficult because there are so so many But uh, just before lockdown hit There was this one mall day I, I think I had also vlogged it I'll uh, leave the link down below But Kumar and I went to a mall And we had no agenda We ate so much good food We shopped a little bit only Or probably didn't even shop I don't remember about that but just the conversations that we had on that trip were so scintillating and that mall is super far from where we live. So our drive was good. We didn't face that much traffic also. I remember I was standing in the sunroof also. But basically I just love these chill experiences. Whenever we are super stress free and just grow with each other on a personal level as a person that date I will never forget Is there a personality trait that instantly attracts you to a person? There is um, Although I haven't felt this way about another person but one personality trait of Kumar's that every time he exercises it I just go like wow I love you so much is when he's so disciplined and grounded to his ethics Matlab, whenever somebody needs help usko ek second bhi lagta to get out of the car and go and help somebody that I love and the way he conducts his work and the ethics that he follows in that I just admire and the way he's disciplined with his workout and he doesn't eat that much junk like he's he just is so aware in the present that he lives that way I get super super attracted to that trait of his okay then someone has asked that how do I prioritize things while in a relationship oh my god this is so vital because this phase after a few years in a relationship and I've been in it 
सो थैंकफुली बोथ कुमार एंड आई आर नॉट क्लिंगी लाइक दैट की चौबीस घंटे साथ में लाइक बिताने हैं हम दोनों वैसे नहीं है बट मन तो करता ही है ना मिलने का सो इट्स मच ईजियर टू मीट हिम इन द इवनिंग दैन टू गो फॉर एन इवनिंग वर्कआउट और टू जस्ट सिट एंड रीड लाइक कुछ भी अकेले करने से बेटर है कि मेरा मन कहती नहीं ना उसको मिलकर आती हूँ ड्राइव पे जाके आती हूँ वॉक पे जाके सो एट सम पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम यू हैव टू लर्न टू बैलेंस दैट अदरवाइज यू विल लूज योर सेल्फ लाइक यू विल लूज योर पर्सनैलिटी आप भूल जाओगे आप खुद कौन हो एंड यू विल बिकम वेरी डिपेंडेंट ऑन रिलेशनशिप तो आपको टारगेट रखना ही पड़ेगा कि इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कंटिन्यू टू हैव एन इंडिविजुअल पर्सनैलिटी आउट ऑफ सेवन डेज टू डेज से या वन डे से स्टार्ट करो कि अच्छा मैं वॉक पे अकेले जाऊंगी एंड बी विथ योर थॉट्स बी विथ योर सेल्फ एंड जस्ट कीप रिमेंबरिंग हु यू आर देन यू विल हैव अ रियली हैप्पी टाइम आई एम गोइंग थ्रू इट राइट नाउ एंड आई हैव डिसाइडेड टू स्टार्ट माई मॉर्निंग रूटीन अगेन जो फिलहाल आई हैव इंट हैड अ वेरी गुड डन बट दैट्स वॉट आई एम ऑल्सो अप टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हाउ डू आई बैलेंस माई रिलेशनशिप करियर एंड पर्सनल लाइफ वेल पर्सनल लाइफ इज लाइक वॉट आई एक्सप्लेन अर्लियर वो टाइम तो निकालना ही पड़ेगा फ्रॉम रिलेशनशिप विद मॉम डैड पार्टनर एवरी सिंगल पर्सन कमिंग टू करियर करियर इज समथिंग दैट नीड्स टू बी सुपर डिटैच फ्रॉम रिलेशनशिप इन द सेंस दैट दैट इज समथिंग दैट यू हैव एन एम फॉर योर सेल्फ ना सम वन मे नॉट वॉन्ट टू रियली वर्क बट दैट अ चॉइस सो इफ यू रियली वॉन्ट टू एडवांस इन करियर देन यू नीड टू गो एट इट एंड बी डिसिप्लिन लाइक यू आर वेन यू आर स्टडिंग लाइक जब एक डिग्री करनी होती है जब एग्जाम नज़दीक आती है फिगेड एनी फ्रेंड्स फिगेड एनी ट्रिप यू विल जस्ट नॉट गो फॉर इट सो सिमिलरली इफ यू हैव अ करियर दैट यू वॉन्ट टू परस्यू योर पार्टनर शुड रिस्पेक्ट यू फॉर इट स्पेशली यहाँ पर कोई जेंडर रोल्स मैटर नहीं करते ऐसा नहीं है कि मेल को ही काम करने मिलना चाहिए एंड वीमेन को नहीं इफ यू हैव विद द राइट पर्सन दे विल अंडरस्टैंड योर एम एंड दे विल एक्चुअली रिस्पेक्ट you for having an aim and being independent you can balance it by having a dedicated time every single day if you're a business person and for a job you will have to go for it so your partner's support and understanding is all that is required and if they don't understand then that's it's not fair um the second last question is what is the key to a long lasting relationship टॉक टॉक एंड टॉक टॉक अबाउट एवरी थिंग एंड हर रिलेशनशिप में ना दो लोग तो होते हैं राइट तो एक पर्सन को बात करना बहुत अच्छा लगता है एक पर्सन को बिल्कुल अच्छा नहीं लगता ऐसे मैंने मोस्ट ऑब्जर्व किया है सो इवन इफ द अदर पर्सन डजेंट रियली लव कन्वर्सिंग जस्ट मेक श्योर की जो भी इशूज है दोज आर सॉर्टेड एंड कीप ट्राइंग न्यू थिंग्स टूगेदर बिकॉज देर आर ओनली सो मेनी थिंग्स देर ओनली सो मेनी मॉल्स मूवीज एंड प्लेसिस यू कैन गो टू बट यू हैव टू कीप मेंटेनिंग द स्पार्क लाइक यू कांट जस्ट गेट कम्फर्टेबल इन इट You know, it's like your career. The moment you get comfortable, you're not going to grow. So, relationship is super work intense. Like you have to put in the effort to make it last long and forever. And the last question is: This is quite personal as well. He loves me, but he's been quite busy lately and not able to give me enough time and attention. What should I do? You need to tell them that it's not okay because if this is a regular thing, it is one hundred percent not okay. Yeah, I mean. छः महीने में अगर एक वर्क ट्रिप आ गया विच इज़ लाइक सुपर इंटेंस दैट यू हैव टू एक्चुअली गो टू सम एक्सपो और समथिंग फ्रॉम डे टू नाइट मे बी अंडरस्टैंडेबल बट इफ यू जिस गोइंग टू फोकस ऑन अर्निंग मनी एंड वर्किंग एंड फर्गेट एवरीथिंग एल्स इन योर लाइफ दैट इज नॉट हेल्दी फॉर द अदर पर्सन इन द रिलेशनशिप ऑल्सो बिकॉज आई ऑलवेज से दिस वन थिंग वेन एवर पापा और कुमार गेट स्वेप्ट इन लॉट ऑफ वर्क कि खाना नहीं छोड़ा है सोना नहीं छोड़ा है नहाना नहीं छोड़ा है देन वाई वुड यू स्टॉप बींग विथ योर लव डंस एंड बाई योर सेल्फ यू कांट ड्रॉप दीज थिंग्स दीज आर नॉट ऑप्शनल यू हैव टू कंटिन्यू दैट सो यू जस्ट नीड टू टॉक टू योर पार्टनर दैट हे यू नो लेट्स ऑल्सो हैव अ लाइफ टूगेदर अदरवाइज जो भी आप पैसे कमा रहे हो वो साथ में एक्सपीरियंस स्पेंड करने के लिए पार्टनर भी तो रहना चाहिए ना तब तक इट्स नॉट लाइक अ प्ले एंड पॉज थिंग आई फील सो फ्रिकिंग ग्रेट to be able to share such personal opinions because i know that these are not super common this is how i feel like about dating about a relationship about my relationship so i hope this brings us much more closer if you have any more questions and your personal stories please leave them down below because i want this to be a two way thing i also want to know more about you but if you enjoyed watching this video then do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you did not enjoy watching this video then ask it a thumbs down i will see you in a brand new video very very soon until then goodbye